This question belongs to engineering mathematics and was asked in GATE CSE 2015 set 3. So the question states, the velocity v in kilometer per minute of a motorbike which starts from rest is given at fixed intervals of time t in minutes. So we have time in minutes and we have velocity in kilometer per minute. And we have been given at fixed times and what is the velocity as follows. The approximate distance in kilometer rounded to two decimal places of decimal covered in 20 minutes using the Simpson one third rule is. Okay, so actually the total distance, so we need to find the approximate distance. So the total distance is given by the area under the speed curve. So if we have the speed curve, then the area under the speed curve gives us the total distance and, can, and it can be calculated by integrating the speed curve equation in the given range. So we can integrate it in the range 0 to 20. Okay, and we will find the total distance covered. Okay, so in this question, exact the speed function is not given. We are just given the speed at different instants of time. Now, the question is asking what is the total distance we can cover in 20 minutes. So, according to the question, it is given over here that it starts from the rest. So, motorbike starts from the rest. Okay, so we have to introduce another time t as 0 and velocity as 0. So, the speed function has to be integrated in the range 0 to 20. Therefore, an additional point t equals to 0 and velocity equals to 0, we have to create. After adding t equals to 0 and v equals to 0, total points are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We got 11 points and 10 intervals. So, number of inter intervals n equals to 10. So, now let us find what is the answer to this using the Simpson rule. Rules. So, what is Simpson's rules? So, according to the Simpson's rules, the numerical approximation of definite integrals can be given as integral in the range a to b f of x dx which is equals to b minus a by 3n and here we have this term also, sorry, which is equals to b minus a by 3n. So here the motion starts at 0 and ends at 20. So the function can be integrated in the range 0 till 20. So now we will find the value of the function. So value of the function is we have see we have fx0 plus 4 fx1 plus 2 fx2 plus 4 fx3. So 4 and 2 alternates and then we will have 4 fx n minus 1 plus fxn. Okay. So now, how will we compute this? So this will be equal to we will have b minus a. So what is our value? So our value is actually delta x by 3 where delta x, x is b minus a by 3n. So it is b minus a by 3n into this entire term. It is our value of integral a to b fx dx. So, integral a to b fx dx equals to this. So, we need to find this value. So, what is our fx dx? So, it is equal to b minus a by 3n into f of initial value 0, f of 0 plus 4f2 plus 2f4 plus 4f6 plus 2f8 plus 4f10 plus 2f12 plus 4f14 plus 2f16 plus 4f18 plus 2f20. So if we compute this, we will get this value to be equal to 2 by 3. So what is our b minus a by 3n? So b is our 20, a is 0, 3n is 10. So it is equal to 2 by 3. So b minus a by 3n is 2 by 3. So we get this entire value. This is 2 by 3. So we get 2 by 3 into f of 0 is 0 plus 4. What is f2 is 10 plus 2. What is f4? So this is our f0. This is f2. f4 is 18 plus 4. f6 is 25 plus 2. f8 is our 29 plus 4. f10 is our 32 plus 2, 
f12 is our 20 plus 4 f14 is our 11 plus 2 f16 is our 5 plus 4 f18 is our 2 plus 2 f20 is our 0 so if we compute this entire value then it comes out to be equal to then it is equal to 309.33 so answer to this question is 309.33 okay now let me brief it up again what we have done so we were given time and velocities we need to find the total distance covered in the range 0 to 20 0 was not given so we introduced a value 0 of time and velocity now total intervals are 10 so n is 10 so value is, is equal to b minus a by 3n into fx see the integral we need to compute a to be fx dx it is equal to b minus a by 3n into fx0 plus 4fx1 plus 2fx2 and it alternates till fxn and so we have computed this value so b minus a by 3n was our 2 by 3 and these values we have computed over here so the answer comes out to be 309.33